How to record a bounce check in QuickBooks Online. Hey everyone, this is Matt Holquist with the QuickBooks University, and I want to show you how to record a bounced check from a customer or a client in QuickBooks Online. Uh, it's not quite as self-explanatory as it is in QuickBooks Desktop, and so I want to show you the right way to do it. So here we are on the home screen, and we'll just have a hypothetical example. You get paid by a customer, you record the payment against an invoice, and the check bounces, and it comes out of your account. And so this is a process by where you will record the bounce check and send a new invoice to the customer. Okay, so the first thing we wanna do is we need to set up two service items in QuickBooks. So we're gonna go up to the gear icon and go to products and services. All right, so on this screen, you're gonna click new, okay? And you're gonna choose a service item. So the first service item we're gonna set up is called bounced check, all right? So down here, we're not gonna put a category. You can leave this. I sell this product service to my customer. The important thing that you wanna do down here is change the income account. So normally when we do a service or an item, uh, or product or service, it's gonna be an income account. But in this case, you wanna use the bank account where the bounce check came out of, okay? So we set up a service item, call it bounce check, put it to the checking account or whatever bank account it was, and we're gonna make this non-taxable. So if we go down here, say non-taxable, done, and save and close, okay? So we got that one. Now we're gonna do another one. We go to the gear icon, we go to products and services, we go to new, and we choose service item. And we're going to say uh, bounced check fee. Okay. Now, this one we are going to do as an income account. All right. Because this is the fee that you're going to charge your customer. So you may want to set up a new account we'll say add new we're going to say this is an income account and if you don't want it up in your regular revenue you can do it as other income so that it shows up down at the bottom of the profit and loss statement since it's really not part of your operating income now we'll just say this is other miscellaneous income and the name we'll call bounced check fee all right, so we save and close. And so we have income account, bounce check fee, bounce check fee, and we hit, well, let's make this non-taxable, okay? Done, and then save and close. Okay, so we have the two items set up, these two service uh, product and services, and now we need to go create an invoice back to this customer, okay? So we say customers invoice, and we'll just assume, I'm just going to pick a customer. We'll say it's Amy's Bird Sanctuary. We don't want to add any of that to the invoice. Whoops, hit the wrong one. Okay, so Amy's Bird Sanctuary, we're going to say that uh, their payment bounced their check. So the product service you want to first choose, bounce check. All right, and you can type in your description, you know, check number whatever quantity one, and we'll say that this was for $500. All right, so the amount $500, non-taxable. And then we are also going to charge a bounce check fee to Amy's Bird Sanctuary because it is a pain in the butt when you get a bounce check from a customer. And the bank's gonna charge you a fee, so you should pass that on to your, to your customer. Okay, so now we have this invoice and you can send it to the customer and, uh, you know, get them to pay that, uh, save and do, etc. We're going to save and close. So now we have recorded that. Now, what this is doing is this is taking this out of your bank account. All right. So if we go to the bank account and we look at, uh, let's go over here and we'll just go to the chart of accounts. And I'm going to look in the register for Amy's Bird or for Amy's Bird Sanctuary. Okay, right here. You can see where it takes the money out of the account, $500.
and then it records the bank fee or the fee, the bounce check fee that you charge to Amy's Bird Sanctuary, puts that into income. So now we have an invoice and what this does is it takes it out of your account since when the check bounced, it subtracted that money from your account. So we get that. Now, when we do receive payment and we receive it against that invoice, it'll put it back into the account. Okay, so now if you do have a fee from the bank, which nine times out of 10 you're going to, you go up to new and you go to expense. And we, uh, let's see if we have a bank in here. Uh, we'll just say it's, we'll say Cal Telephone is our bank uh, payment method. It's going to be basically, you know, ACH. I'll just choose cash. And what was this for? Uh, let's see, we'll call this bank charges. And we'll say that they charged us a $10 bounce check fee from our customer. And we're not going to assign that to anyone. We're just going to save and close. So all of these steps, it's kind of a convoluted process, but all of these steps create the service items, link the bounce check to the checking account instead of an income or an expense account, create an invoice back to the customer for the bounce check. It's going to subtract it from your checking account, and then you also recorded the fee. Any questions, any comments on this, please feel free to leave those below, and I will see you in the next video.